Today's pitcher, Jack Knott, made his Major League debut with the St. Louis Browns on April 1933. He also pitched for the Chicago White Sox and then was traded in 1941 to the Philadelphia Athletics. He was put into military service on November 24, 1942 and became a member of the 104th Infantry Division. He had an opportunity to play ball in the service, but his division was shipped to the European Theater on September 7, 1944, where they uh, participated in the Battle of the Herkern Forest. And on January 8, 1945, he received a battlefield commission, was promoted to second lieutenant. But two days later in Belgium, he was wounded and awarded the Purple Heart. This was during the Battle of the Bulge, and as the German offensive in the Ardennes wound down, his division moved across the Ruhr River and on March 5th entered Cologne and some heavy fighting and crossed the Rhine River. Not earned a, another promotion during this time, and this battlefield promotion promoted him to first lieutenant. He liberated the Metal Baldora concentration camp and met up with the Russian army at Pretch on April 26, 1945. Not returned to the Philadelphia A's in the spring of 1946, where he made three appearances, but that was it for his major league career. He is today's starting pitcher. And in my book, another of the American heroes who fought World War II. Hello everybody, this is Appa Bryan with Appa Baseball Classics bringing to you Game 5 of the American League Divisional Tur American League Tournament Double Elimination. Today's game features the Detroit Tigers at the Philadelphia Athletics. Uh, this is the first round, first game of round two. Detroit lost in the first round of Cleveland 5-4. Philadelphia lost to New York 4-1. Here are your starting lineups for the visiting Tigers. Rip Radcliffe, Charlie Geringer, Barney McCoskey, Pat Mullen, Rudy York, Pinky Higgins, Billy Sullivan, and Dingle Croucher. Croucher is a shortstop. He probably should be the catcher. Dizzy Trout, grade C, B, grade C pitcher, X and W modifier. For the Philadelphia Athletics, They have Pete Suter leading off, Al Brancato, Dick Siebert, Sam Chapman, Wally Moses, Bob Johnson, Frank Hayes, Benny McCoy, and Jack Knott on the mound, grade C, no modifiers. Okay, let's go to the ballpark and play ball. Here is Rip Redcliffe. 14 is a fly ball to left field caught by Bob Johnson, one away. Charlie Geringer, the second baseman, toward the end of his career here. 65 is going to be a ground ball to first base, unassisted, two down. Marty McCoskey. 56 is a swing and a miss for a strike three. And the Tigers are brushed aside. One, two, three in the first. We go to the bottom of the first. No score. Dizzy Trout completes his warm-up tosses. He was, did his best pitching in 1943 when he went over 20 games. Also 44. I think he won 27 and 44. He and Hal Neuheiser in 44 uh, comprised the top two pitchers in the American League. He was a 4F and not drafted into the military because he was deaf. In one ear, here's a pitch to Pete Suter. 31 is a 9 against the C pitcher. That's a pop out to third base. One away. Al Brancato, the shortstop. 
55 is a 8 against the C. That's going to be a base hit to left center field. And Brancato is on with some speed. He is only B8 steel. That must be a printing error or <laughs> he should never steal. <laughs> okay, Dick Sievert is the hitter. One out. 62 is a fly ball to Mullen in left field is caught. There are two outs. Sam Chapman. 1-1 one, one roll. That's a hit column. 31 is a 2. That's going to be a triple along the right field line. Scoring Brancato with two outs. And Philadelphia is on top, one to nothing. This is an elimination game. And um, the batter now is Wally Moses. The infield will be playing back with two outs. One five is a eight against a C pitcher. That's going to be a single over second base. Scores Chapman. And it is two to nothing in Philadelphia. Bob Johnson. Thirty-two is ground ball to second base. He goes a short way, four to the shortstop six. That's the end of the inning. We go to the top of the second. It is Philadelphia two and Detroit nothing. Pat Mullen, a 345 hitter in 1941, will lead off for the Detroit Tigers. Hank Greenberg is not with the Tigers. He was drafted on May 6th, so he'll be lost for the year after only 67 at-bats. Matt Mullen, Pat Mullen is in left field today. 1-3 is going to be a walk. Fast runner at first base. Rudy York. Mullen is a F-32 Steeler. Didn't steal off them, but when he did, pretty good chance to be safe. Uh, York is a 27 home runs, 259 hitter. He's going to swing away. 53 is a 20 on feeling column 2. That's going to be an error on the second baseman, Benny McCoy. Runner goes to second. First and second. Here is Pinky Higgins coming to bat for the Tigers. No outs. 54 is a fly ball to right field. Now there's one out. Billy Sullivan. 33 is hit column. Might be a chance to tie this up. 21 is going to be a 6. It's a C pitcher. That's a double to left center field. The runners will score uh, unless... York is slow. He is not. Two RBIs, and the score is tied at two. Billy Crouchard comes to bat for the Tigers. Sullivan's on second, average speed. Frank Croucher. Okay, here's the pitch to Croucher. 42 is a 23, feeling column two. <clears throat> Runner out stealing third. Third baseman is injured. Now he will play the next four four games. When those results come up, I go ahead and give them an opportunity to steal. So we got Sullivan, since I have the master ratings. Sullivan is at A7. He has virtually no chance. <laughs> Frankie Hayes is a plus three, so that's going to make him and a four stealer. So um, his chances to be safe are 11 through 14. Not good and shouldn't be stealing. I should, <laughs> I'm gonna have to play it safe with these A runners. Okay, um, he's out. Okay, coming in to play third base for the injured piece suitor will be Al Rubling. He'll be playing third base. 
So now the bases are clear with two outs. Croucher is still at bat. 65 is going to be a I believe a ground out to first base. Unassisted. Three outs we go to the bottom of the second inning. 2-2 two, two tie. Catcher Frankie Hayes leads off for the A's in the bottom of the second inning. He was two for three in the first game of the tournament. 22 is going to be a base hit here. So that makes him three for four in the tournament. He is average speed. Second baseman, Benny McCoy. 42 is going to be a base on balls. First and second for the A's, nobody out. And now the pitcher, Jack Knott. Jack Knott will square around to try and bunt. 25 is a... 14, and that's going to be a base on balls. So he walks the pitcher. Okay, the infield for Detroit will play back for try to get a double play. Al Rubling's the pitcher, or excuse me, Al Rubling's the replacement third baseman for Suter, who was injured in the last half inning. Here's the pitch. 45 is going to be a walk. Three baseball and balls in a row. That gives an RBI. It is three to two. Athletics. That will be all for Dizzy Trout. On comes Schoolboy Row. He pitched one inning in the first inning, first game. He'll be coming on with the bases loaded, no outs. Grade C pitcher, wise Z modifiers, and he'll have Rubling at first, Knotts at second, and McCoy is the runner at third. Here is Al Brancaro. Infield is still back. 1-6 is at 28. That is going to be a fielder's choice. The runner is out second, 6-4. to four. Everybody else moves up a base on the fielder's choice. First and third, one out, and it is four to two, Philadelphia. Here comes the bat now with one out. Infield is still playing back. 63 is a fly ball to center field. Um, the runner is going to be able to tag up, not scores. And it is now five to two, Philadelphia. Two outs. All those runs are charged to Dizzy Trout. Here is Sam Chapman. 52 is a 27 with the runner on first. That's going to be a ground out to third base, five to three. We go to the top of the third. Philadelphia 5 in Detroit 2. Schoolboy Row will lead off for the Detroit Tigers. 35 is a walk. Average speed at first. Rip Redcliffe. 15 is going to be a single to right center. And the runner will go to third. Philadelphia will play the, the infield, or Philadelphia will swing away with Geringer. Detroit's playing their infield back. Try to get a double play. There's no outs. Here's the pitch. 42 is a base on balls. So the Tigers have no, no outs. Barney McCoskey comes to the bat. He was a 324 hitter in 1941. Detroit threatening to come right back and close that 
three run deficit. Can Barney McCarthy put a quarter and a merry go round? Here's the pitch. 41 is a 28 infield back. That's going to be a fielder's choice. Geringer is retired as second, six to four. Everybody else moves up a base, so it is now five to three. Philadelphia. Pat Mullen. Infield is still back for the A's. 12 is a 25. That's going to be a 6 4 3 double play. We have the bottom of the third Philadelphia 5, Detroit 3. Wally Moses will lead off for the A's. He singled and drove in a run in the uh, first inning. 41 is a 28. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. One down. Indian Bob Johnson will come to bat. He was one quarter Cherokee Indian in nine straight seasons when he hit over 20 home runs. Here's the pitch to Johnson. 55 is a base hit for Bob Johnson, a single to left center field. Fast runner at first. Here is the catcher, Frank Hayes, who is three, four, three out of four in the tournament. 62 is a 38. That's going to be a runner steal second. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> We're going to give the Tigers a chance to throw that runner out. The catcher is a plus one. Move to first is plus one. So he is going to be a F22, meaning his chances to be safe are 11 through 44. He is not safe. Two to four, and there's two outs. One five, that's going to be a single for Frank Hayes. Benny McCoy. 1-5 is another single. Uh, this is to center. The runner will go to third with there being two outs. And here is the pitcher, Jack Knott. 23 is a strikeout. We go to the fourth, 5-3 to three athletics. Some overly ambitious base running has Penalized both teams in this game, costing the A's a run in that last inning. Here's Rudy York to lead off for the Detroit Tigers. York reached on an error and scored his first time up. 23 is a ground out to the A's second baseman, Benny McCoy. One down. Pinky Higgins. 64 is a strikeout. Two outs, and the catcher, Billy Sullivan. 34 is a fly ball to the center fielder, Wally Moses. It's the end of the top of the fourth. It is five to four, Philadelphia. Al Rubelin leads off for the A's. Six, six roll, that's gonna be a single for Rubelin. Fast runner. Al Brancato, the shortstop. He will square around the bunt. 34 is a 31. And out of first, fielded by the first baseman, throws to the second baseman covering. So a successful sacrifice. Three to four. Rubling goes to second with one down. That brings up Dick Siebert. Forty-six is a ground ball back to the pitcher or first baseman to the pitcher covering. Three to one. Base runner goes to third. There's two outs. 
Here is Sam Chapman. Sam Chapman was an All-American football player at the University of California and played in the 1938 Rose Bowl. Here's the pitch to Chapman. 25 is a 8 against a grade C. That's a single over second scoring rubling. And the ace take on another run and it's 6 to 3. Wally Moses. Fifteen, that's going to be another hit for the A's. Single, single with a runner. Chapman going all the way to third, first and third with two outs. And Bob Johnson. One three is a two balls and I don't know, that's going to be a walk. Filling the bases. And here is the very hot Frank Hayes, who is four for five in this tournament. Six six roll, that's a hit column roll. Twenty-three is a um let's see, double to left center field, and that will clear the bases. Three more runs, and it is now Philadelphia 9 and Detroit 3, and the horse is out of the barn. The new Tiger pitcher will be Bud Thomas, great D, Z modifier pitcher. And he is facing Benny McCoy with a runner on second and two outs. 22 is a single. He's actually a grade C because of the same hand as for the first batter. That's a single, and Frankie Hayes will score, and it becomes 10 to 3. Cannot do 10 on the scoreboard, but I can keep a 20 sided die under the home score with the correct score 10 to, 10 to 3. All the runs in this inning have been charged to Schoolboy Royal. Here's the pitcher, Jack Knott. Who has, must be the most relaxed man in the ballpark. He's got a seven-run lead. Here's the pitch. 6-1 is a swing and a miss for a strike three. That's the third out. But the A's score five in the bottom of the fourth, and they lead the Tigers 10-3. Frank Crotcher will lead off against Jack Knott. 52 is going to be a Ground out to the third baseman, five to three. That's how the fifth inning starts. And there will be a pitch hitter for the pitcher. Bruce Campbell will pinch hit for the pitcher, Thomas, and warming up in the bullpen for Detroit is Hal Manders. 21 is a ground ball to third. Number two outs to go to the top of the order for Rip Redcliffe. One two is a ground out to second base. We go to the bottom of the fifth, ten to five, Philadelphia. Excuse me, make that ten to three. New pitcher for Detroit is Hal Manders. He is a grade B pitcher with a Y and W modifier. Al Rubling steps in the box for the A's. Sixty-four is a strikeout. One away. Here is Al Brancato. 34 is a fly ball to center field. Two down. Dick Siebert. And timeout. Lost the dice overboard. 26 is going to be a ground out to the second baseman. Four to three. So three up and three down. We go to the top of the six, it's the Philadelphia A's 10, Detroit Tigers 3. So the A's in the first game only had three hits in their loss to the Yankees. No, they had five hits, excuse me. 
They've got nine hits already in this game. Charlie Geringer leads off the top of the six for the Detroit Tigers. 31 is a walk to Geringer. Second walk for the day for him. Marty McCloskey. One one roll, that's going to be hit column. 16 is a double over first. Runner goes to third. Second and third for Detroit. Nobody out. And Pat Mullen. Warming up in the Philadelphia bullpen is Dick Fowler. Here is Mullen. The infield is playing back. 41 is a 28. Uh, ground out to shortstop. Runners advance one base. Six to three is the scoring with an RBI for Mullen. And it is now 10 to four, Philadelphia. Here is Rudy York. Fifty-five is going to be an eight against a C pitcher. It's a single over first. Um, let's see. I have to get to the correct page. And runner, single over second, runner scores. It is six to five. RBI for Rudy York, and that's going to do it for Jack Knott. Dick Fowler is a grade C pitcher, a Z modifier. Here's the pitch to Pinky Higgins. 62 is a fly out to right field. Two outs. And Billy Sullivan, the catcher. 35 is going to be 36. Wild pitch. Thirty-three hit column roll. Fifty-four is going to be a double to left. The runner scores, and it is ten to six. Um, the A's. Yeah, the run, runs are charged to Jack Knott, and the batter is Frank Croucher with two outs. And a runner at second. Fowler will pitch to him. 36 is a pop out to the shortstop. That's the third out. We go to the bottom of the six. It's now Philadelphia 10. And Detroit's kind of hanging around. They've got six. Hal Manders will return to the mound. He'll be pitching to Sam Chapman, Wally Moses, and Bob Johnson. Three good hitters. 63 is a fly ball to center field caught by Barney McCoskey. One away. Here's Wally Moses. 64 is a walk. Moses is two for three. And now is three out of four as far as getting on base. Fast runner, E20 stealing. Bob Johnson, 35 is a walk. Phil, uh, Detroit pitching has walked a lot of people. Now that's the sixth walk. And now first and second one out brings up the red hot Frankie Hayes, the catcher, who is five for six in the tournament. 55, that's an 8 against a B, runners on first and second. That's going to be a ground out to third, runners move up, two outs. Benny McCoy will be walked.
Okay, D Miles will pitch hit with the bases loaded. And Tom Ferrick is warming up in the Philadelphia A's bullpen. Miles was a 312 hitter in 1941. Here's the pitch from Manders, the infield course with two outs playing back. And Dice goes on the floor. This will roll the white one again. 3-3 three, three roll, that's going to be a 7 against a B. Uh, that's going to be a single. And two runners score. The runner on first is a... If he's fast, he goes to third. Yep. So we got first and third. And it becomes... 12 to 6. They probably should not have walked the second baseman, McCoy. All right, here is Al Rubling. 23 is a 27. That's going to be a ground out to th third or Y modifier. That's a strikeout. But the A's score twice and extend their lead to 12 to 6. Okay, I think maybe I have a solution for the scoreboard. There's 12 for Philadelphia, and Detroit has 6. In the top of the 7th, we've got a new pitcher for Philadelphia. It'll be Tom Ferrick. He's a grade C pitcher with a Z modifier. And Ned Harris will be batting for Detroit's pitcher, a pitch hitter, here in the top of the 7th inning. 64 is a strikeout. One away. Top of the order, and Rip Radcliffe. One, two is going to be a ground out to second base. Four to three, two down. And now Charlie Geringer. 63 is a fly ball to the center fielder, Wally Moses. We go to the bottom of the seventh, Philadelphia 12 and Detroit 6. New pitcher for Detroit is Bud Thomas. Great D pitcher, Z modifier. New pitcher for Detroit is Virgil Trucks. Great D pitcher, XY modifier. He'll be facing Al Brancato in the bottom of the seventh inning. 45 is going to be a walk. Dick Siebert. 43 is a ground ball back to the pitcher. Let's see. Out of first. We're in a second. Y is a strikeout, so that's going to be a strikeout. He has the Y modifier. One down. And Sam Chapman comes to bat. Chapman is two out of four in this game. He's got two RBIs and a triple. 36 is pop out to third base. Caught by Peaky Higgins. Two away. And now Wally Moses, who is two for three. 41 is a ground ball to the shortstop. Six to three. We go to the top of the eighth. 12 to 6, Philadelphia. Ferry could be facing Marty McCoskey. 65 is a ground out to first base. Three unassisted, one away. Pat Mullen. 42 is a Pop out the third base. Two outs. Rudy York. 22 is going to be a base hit. And Rudy York is two for three. Pinky Higgins. 22 here, that's going to be a single. And the runner will go to third. Billy Sullivan. 
16 is a 28. That's going to be a, let's see, infield's playing back, 6 to 4 the short way, fielder's choice, 3 outs. Go to the bottom of the 8th, it's 12-6 Philadelphia. Okay, Virgil Fire Trucks from Birmingham, Alabama will come back out to pitch the bottom of the 8th. He'll face Bob Johnson. Wally Mose, or excuse me, Frankie Hayes and Benny McCoy. 61 is a ground out to the shortstop, one away. Frank Hayes. Three for four today. Five for seven in this tournament. 26 is going to be also a ground out to the the Detroit shortstop, Croucher, there's two outs. Benny McCoy. 31 is a walk. McCoy has walked three times and two singles on the day. It's been a perfect day for the Philadelphia second baseman. Tom Ferrick will back for himself. 45 is going to be also a walk. And that is the 10th free pass Detroit has given Philadelphia in this game. Al Rubling. First and second. 46 is a ground ball back to the pitcher. 1 to 3. We go to the ninth, it's 12 to 6, Philadelphia. Coming in to pitch the ninth inning for the Philadelphia A's is Fred Caliguri, grade C pitcher RZ modifiers. Frankie Croucher is leading off for Detroit. Croucher is 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. 54 is a fly ball to the right fielder, Sam Chapman. One away. Pitch hitting for the pitcher. Virgil Trucks is Bertie Tebbets. 22 is going to be a base hit for Tebbets. Rip Radcliffe. 54 is a fly ball to right field. 2 away. And now it's up to Charlie Geringer to keep this going. Here's the pitch. 63 is a fly out to Wally Moses in center field. And that completes the ball game. The final score, the Philadelphia Athletics 12 and the Detroit Tigers 6 will be back with a wrap-up. In today's game, the Detroit Tigers were eliminated by the Philadelphia Athletics. The Tigers scored six runs on seven hits, no errors. The A's scored 12 runs on 12 hits, and they committed one error. The winning pitcher was Jack Knott, five and a third innings, gave up five earned runs. Preacher or schoolboy Rowe was the losing pitcher, two and two thirds innings, and he surrendered five earned runs. The star of today's game were most of the position players for the Philadelphia A's. Pretty much everybody did something in, in the game today to contribute to today's victory. Pete Suter got a uh, injured was injured in early, so that allowed his replacement. Um, Rublin to get in, walk, and get an RBI, single and score a run. Al Bran Brancato singled and scored a run, drove in an RBI. Dick Seaver did not have such a good day, but he did have a sacrifice fly with an RBI attached to it. Sam Chapman tripled in the first, driving in a run, scored, and singled in a fourth, scored, and drove in a run. Wally Moses was two for four and reached base three times, had an RBI and two runs scored. Indian Bob Johnson was one for three, but reached base three times, single and two walks, scored two runs. 
Frankie Hay was the real star of the game. He was three for five, two singles, a double, scored two runs, and drove in three. D. Miles even pitched hit a single for Philadelphia, and maybe even include the umpire who 10 times called ball four and way Philadelphia runners to first base. So the Philadelphia A's will move forward to round three. They'll play the loser of game eight between the Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox. And in tomorrow's game, we'll see game six of the National League Tournament. The St. Louis Cardinals go to Cincinnati to take on the Reds. Hope you enjoyed this game. There was a lot of action. Thanks for joining us, and have a good day, and God bless.